Para, para, we got an email from Robert who writes in, Is there a program available that will transfer text from sheets of paper to documents I can edit on my very computer? That's called? It's not Xeroxing. That's a patented word. It's not copying. It's OCRing. Optical character recognition. Yeah. One of the primary reasons the scanner became such a popular device for the home. This is a funny uh, thing because it, it turns out to be a lot harder to do uh, this than anybody really thought. Right. The hardest thing is speech and handwriting because humans are so varied. Nasty. At least with, <laughs> with OCR, you're usually using printed text, so you can do a pretty right. good job. Basically, all these programs work the same way. They'll take a look at the text. We scan in. And I'll scan in something else. We scan in the menu here from Potso. Let's see if we can do your handwriting. Should we try that? Is that my so handwriting? I'm gonna, I think it's Prager's handwriting, which makes it say, that's just a little, a little bit mine's harder. A lot, no, mine's a lot worse than Prager's. Here's the thing, though. Is the idea OCR takes it, it scans a visual image, it extracts the text data out of that, and it turns it into something like a doc file or a text file, again, that you can edit on your PC. Does it the same way you would do it? It actually takes the picture. Sure. and looks at the letters on the picture and tries to match them up to a database of similar letters. There are varieties of ways to do that. You can Help me. I'm trapped in a screensaver's production meeting. Ooh. All right, let's scan that in. A fate worse than death. <laughs> so we've got a couple of documents scanned in here. We are using uh, the software. This is a Presto page manager that came with this Epson scanner. There are a variety of programs out there. There was kind of a shakeout in the industry a couple of years ago. The two big programs, CARES OmniPage, C-A-E-R-E, -E, CARES OmniPage, and uh, TextBridge from Xerox Corporation were both purchased by a single company, ScanSoft. ScanSoft. At ScanSoft.com. So you can yeah. go there. Now we've got it scanned in. Let me just see if the uh, image is here. Is it done scanning? Yeah, there it is. Let's see if we can optical character recognize dun, this. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to click the, uh, is it done? Hello? Hello? Did Hello? Oh, man. Hello? Uh -oh. Is it dead in the water? I think it's dead. Uh, we seized the entire we've system? We've seized it up. Well, no, wait, don't do that yet. Okay. Don't do that yet. Never give up. Never say die. Let's just see if we can scan it again. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we, uh, we did a I'm menu. Yank the power I'll tell it. you the truth. Now, this menu is going to be tough because it's a variety mm -hmm. of fonts. It is typewriter font, which is not too bad, but you see there's a handwriting font. There's also yeah. some special formatting. That's going to be difficult. The magazines are tough, too, but for different reasons. Magazines have such tiny printing that right. it's very hard for it to recognize. The best thing to print is large sans serif fonts that are big. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me try this again. Close. Let's see if I can OCR it. There we go. Initiating now it's initiating the, the engine. It's looking at you. See, it's actually scanning through it. And you can see it <laughs> didn't do a great job. It sees help. And that's about it. Should we try the other document? Let's try the other document. Because we should be fair. Handwriting recognition is the most miserable thing for a computer to do. It's very hard to right find. Right after where is it's that? speech and handwriting recognition. Which where is truly is awful. that? We had, a, we had that menu. There it is. <laughs> that's one. That's window. Where is it? Where did it put it? Oh, Where well. Did it go? Here, let's put another one in there. Do you want to try it? Here's Why a not? letter. We could try a letter. Let's yeah, try this. Try one. the letter. All right, let's try this. This should be a little easier. This is computer printing. Hey, it did a pretty good job. In fact, it looks like New it did soft. about 100%. New soft is not great. And you might have to go through it to fix some of the formatting. But there you can see it's pretty good. I'd say you're going to get yeah. about 90, 95%. The newer software, this is a couple of years old. The newer software does a little bit better job. Yeah, and that's a big thing. Get the most. The Get the latest update, get the latest version, because the truth is this, this has advanced huge, huge amounts in the last three to five years. You're looking for OCR, Optical Character Recognition, Recognition Software. And again, the bigger the text, the better. Newspaper articles, don't expect to be able to scan those it's in and tough. read them and index them online. Go to thescreensavers.com, get all the details. In the meantime, let's go to a live call. George joins us. Hello, the George. The Intel Tech Tech. tech hey, I Patrick can't say. Leo. How Hello, you doing, George? George? Are you the computer dudes? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> what can we do for you? You got the mad glasses on, George. He's the dude, man. You're the dude. Well, guys. The dude uh, wants his carpet. No, that's another movie. I'm sorry. What can we do for you, George? My wig on straight? Yeah. Looks <laughs> good. You, kinda, you, you, you and I could be of an age, couldn't we? We could I be of the so. similar, similar era. Yeah. What can we do for you? We're girth. <laughs> well, I've got a cable modem. Yes, sir. And I've got an S, uh, SMC four-port router. Excellent router. Yep. And I've got four PCs and one laptop Good. on my side of it. So what I'm looking for now, I need a solid recommendation uh, for a wireless entry point and a wireless PCMCIA, PCMCIA uh, transceiver for my laptop. So you don't have the SMC wireless, you have just the standard router for exactly. the Exactly, I've got the wired one. They do make a wireless, which by the way, we like a lot. Uh, but basically, we're going to say 802.11. Yes. Now, are we going to say 11A or are we going to say B? You want to do it now or you want to do it in six months? 
Well, I'd like to do it now, but... SMC is making an A. Yeah, they a should. is new, and it's about twice as fast. Yeah, but it's also, I'll be honest with you, if you, if you want to go for the faster speed, it's, it's supposed to be like five times as fast, yeah. and it's a shorter distance. If you want to do it now, I'd go with 802.11b. That's the current that's standard. That's the current one. Despite that's the fact that it's later in the alphabet, it's newer, it's, it, go it, figure. <laughs> it's older in time. It's older in time, but don't ask me to explain that, because it makes <laughs> absolutely no sense. 802.11b, it's basically what everybody has. You get an 802.11b card and you travel, you'll be able to use networks in other places, you'll be able to take it to coffee shops and stuff like that. 802.11a is not backwards compatible right. with 802.11b. Right. So you'd go to the coffee shop and you wouldn't be able to use it. The other okay. thing is, the truth is, the bandwidth that comes in 802.11a, unless you're transferring video files from one system to another inside your house, you don't need all that bandwidth. Now, most of the ones you're going to get are routers. You already have a router, so another way to look at uh, this is maybe not getting a base station. 802.11a is also capable of peer-to-peer, -peer, so you could continue to use your router, have an 802.11a card in each of your devices, and then set one of the devices to be uh, basically a transmitter. Oh. And, that, and then you don't have to buy another router, so it'll save you a little bit of money that way. Okay. There's two ways you can get these 802.11a cards for a computer. You can get a PC card that goes in a PCI adapter in a slot, but now they have mm -hmm. these USB uh, little dongles that come right. off, and that's a lot easier and works just as well, just as fast in my experience. In fact, it might work a little better because the antenna is kind of outside there with it. One last thing, practicallynetwork.com has been doing some great tests of 802.11 base stations and routers. I recommend it. Go over there, check it out. They also, basically, they've examined the speed, they've compared the features, they've got some good recommendations. Let's just say off the top of our head some brand names. SMC. The Netgear is good. D-Link. Yeah. I. I probably stick to those two. Okay. Maybe Linksys, you like them? I like Linksys. They All don't right. like it as much. But. All right. Megan! <laughs> well, we woke her up. Do you have the result of the poll? <laughs> you, wow! Yes. The question was, are you being tracked? And uh, so far, it's, it's not even close. 25% say no, they're not being tracked on the web, and 75% say yes, and, and we know who you are. Now the instant message quote of the day. Our old friend Utri Mio says, a toast to bread. For without bread, there could be no toast. <laughs>